Gordon, the fan. I've spoken to a couple of people who say, ah, it's just a gimmick. At that point, I explain that you, the team, they don't do gimmicks and everything on this car absolutely has to be here. No, that's true, yeah, everything on the car. There's nothing on this car that we don't actually need. And I can understand that sentiment, actually, because of the Brabham BD 46B, you know, the fan car, and people thinking, well, he did that, and this, this is actually nothing to do with the Brabham. Um, the Brabham was a really simple, crude device. Um, it, was a, it was a vacuum cleaner. That the whole periphery of the car has to be sealed, and you create a vacuum which sucks the car down. You can't do that on a road car. It's just not practical. You wouldn't want to follow it. No. <laughs> this is actually, it, it borrows much more from the McLaren F1, because on the F1, we had two small fans. I think they were 140 diameter, so, so. Right. And they this, were this pulling is 400 this is, mil. This is, uh, yeah, this is about 400 mil, yeah. And uh, we were pulling air from a very steep section of the diffuser, but just a little section, not the whole diffuser. And we found it worked. I think we got something from memory. We got about 5% more downforce. And I logged it in my memory. I thought, if ever I get a chance to do this again, um, that's increased the efficiency of the lift over drag dramatically, which is what we all strive for. And it would give the driver a bit more control and not just dependent on car speed. And that's what I did, basically. So I took that concept and expanded it to the full length of the diffuser and width of the diffuser. So it's exactly what the F1 did, but in a much bigger way, if you like. So most cars that rely on big wings produce downforce. Yep. At, you know, the higher the speed, the more the downforce. Yep. This cheats it. Yeah, it does a bit, yeah, because it's uh, whether you've got wings or you've just got a ground effect car, you're totally speed dependent. So um, the downforce and the drag, of course, goes up with the square of the speed. So you're dependent on the car going faster to produce more downforce. The problem is there's certain speeds in a straight line where you don't want more downforce. So what I thought we'd do here is get the team working on, on developing this concept and making it much more sophisticated so the driver can choose, depending on the situation, uh, how much downforce he has or not, without resorting to wings and big spoilers and stuff like that. Yeah, which I know you hate, keeps a lovely smooth yeah. line. So the fan, although the rear of the car, I've always said, you know, the rear of the car is a little bit in your face and technical, but it, that little bit there helps keep the rest of the car very pure and clean. Now, explain to me, the, the, the long tail function, I like the sound of that. Yeah, so that's what we call streamline mode. So that's when you're, um, as I said earlier, when you're building up speed. Mm -hmm. And in a straight line, you don't want the downforce to keep building up because you're using up valuable suspension travel and the car gets uncomfortable and a little bit squirmy. So there you want to actually dump downforce. And in that case, we, sh we use the fan and a combination of the fan, to be fair, and these little spoilers mm -hmm. to dump downforce. So if you select streamline mode, these go to minus 10, which actually brings the air, instead of kicking the airflow up, brings it down, which reduces the low pressure, which we call the base suction. Mm -hmm. And the base suction is what makes the ground effect work by pulling air through. So the low pressure behind the car pulls the air through. So we reduce that At the same time. We stall the diffuser by shutting the valves to the underneath, so we lose about a third of the downforce from the diffuser. Instead, we pull the air from here, and that cleans up the airflow, which is re relatively turbulent on any car across the back where it starts separating, cleans it up here, reducing drag. And on top of that, we use the fan exit or efflux to fill in the back of the car to make a virtual long tail. So it's three different things working together, which reduce the overall drag by 12.5%, which is, which is, doesn't sound a lot, but actually on a motor car, it's a lot. I'm not gonna tell you which part of my body I'd cut off to have that in the <laughs> racing car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 1% is good. Right? Yeah. The engineers spend months in, in trying to find that. You've got high downforce mode as well. Yeah. Braking mode. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think the, uh, the streamline mode is probably the most funky mm -hmm. and interesting. Uh, high downforce, um, that, that happens on lots of supercars where you, you simply pop up a wing 
or you flip up a spoiler like this and increase the downforce by increasing the base suction and the efficiency of the diffuser and creating more high pressure on the top of the deck. A lot of cars do that, but we supplement that with the fan. So we do all that, we flip these up a little bit, we fire the fan up, but we open the diffuser ducts in that case, and that increases the efficiency of the duct by 30%. So we get a combination of the spoiler being up a little bit and more suction underneath, and that gives us 50% more downforce instantly. So when the driver selects high down, you know, the road's a bit slippery or something, yep. select high downforce, you've got 50%, which is really significant. Mighty. And as a driver, you're not really, you, you, this is going to feel linear to you, isn't it? This is, this is it's going to continue that very pure driving experience. Yeah. Instead of just waiting for the car to go faster, it gives the driver more control depending on the circumstances. So. High downforce is a really good example. If you just suddenly, the road's a bit slippery, you want to be a bit more grip, have a bit of grip, be a bit more relaxed, uh, it's click. You know. Fabulous. Okay, Gordon, here's one that I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this is the actual fan. Yeah, that's the actual fan, all in carbon fiber. Uh, this does all the hard work at 7,000 revs, uh, eight kilowatts, and it weighs, I think, 1.2 kilos, the whole fan. It's a beautiful it's molding. Yeah, it's, it has to be. It has to be very strong because the uh, centrifugal f forces at, at that speed are, are huge. And it, with the way the fan works and you know, the, the, the holes in the diffuser and, and you know, going down here, is there any chance things are going to go through it? Or? No, no. It pulls, first of all, it pulls air off at 90 degrees, so anything ah. heavier than air is going straight on. And secondly, there's a filter which is a serviceable item. So there's a filter to stop any dust or anything going through. So. It's yet another part of the car that is, is just sculpture, isn't it? Yeah, and yet, and yet, you know, it's designed to do a job. It just, it's a bit like form and function, isn't it? It's designed to do a job, but it's a lovely piece. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah.